Hey guys, in this video I want to show you how can you see the battery life, the battery health of your iPad Pro or iPad Mini for example. My girlfriend just got this iPad Mini here and we wanted to see what is the battery life. Because if you get an iPhone, you just simply have to go into the iPhone, into the settings and then see under the battery, you can see the battery health. Is it like 90% from original when it was new? Is it 80%? And also I found one thing out. If you go to an Apple store and you want to swap your battery of your iPad for example, they swap it but you have to be under 80%. So if you want to check if your iPad actually is under 80%, in this video I will show you how this works. So the problem is that here in the iPad, if we go into our settings and we come here to the battery, it doesn't show us the battery health like on an iPhone. But it has all the data here. And the way you can access that is you actually have to come here to privacy and security and then come down and then here to analytics and improvements. And here under the analytics and improvement, you make you have to make sure that you share the iPad analytics for at least for one day. The reason why is if we come in here to analytics data, these are all the data that are created. And for example, you need one of these analytics data with the date when you used it. So for example, I don't share my data. So yesterday I had to access activate this so that today I created this file. And if we come into this file, it's a huge file, you basically have to scroll all the way to the to the bottom and somewhere here on the bottom part there is the data that we need. So there is an article that I found and it's this one here and I will link it here in the description, Tom's guide. He explains how from the analytics dashboard, like this one in the bottom part, how we can copy that and then basically read out the values that we need. But what he also shares is in the second method, he shares a battery stat shortcut. A shortcut are these ones here, the Ziri shortcuts. And I also will link the shortcuts here in my description. So if you want to use this one, because it's so much easier than actually trying to figure this out yourself, you simply have to come into this file and now click here, share. And if you add the battery shortcut, it will also be here, battery stats. And now I can simply click this one. And now I can click on this and it will show me a text file. Here I see my battery capacity is now 82.7%. This iPad is now three years old. So, and this is the way how you can do this. If you don't want to install a shortcut app, which is completely free, you can check out this guide. He explains you here in the first method how to read the values and then multiply them by something so that you can get the value as well. But the easier way how I did it now is basically using the zero shortcut that you can simply add and you will find a link here in the description. This will be this one then here, battery stats. And if you apply this one, and if you go in here to the analytics, and that's the important part, you have have to have an analytics from yesterday, day before. So if you don't share it, you have to at least wait for a day so that all the analytics data is uh, stored in that one data. And then you can even see the battery health on your iPad. I hope this helps. If you want to check out this shortcut as well, it's here in the bottom. Welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel. Usually this is all about the Vinci Resolve and filmmaking on the iPad. So welcome to this channel. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, dingle dingle the bam bang gong, and we'll see us in the next video. Bye.